All right, so starting with a SNAM. Two communications, a quick ball, and a lot of possibilities for turn one play. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna trade my Dedenne and pick one Intellion and put it on the bench. Next thing I'm gonna do, I will use this second communication that I have available and go with that Crobat we play. So potentially I'm searching for a energy which I couldn't get, but at least I can put one damage counter on my opponent Toxel. And for now it looks like that I'm just gonna pass the turn. Not gonna waste two evolution incense and a quick pull for the dead A and dead A change. As long as I have Snami, it's okay. Next turn I will just use Quick Ball for um Maybe even, who knows, we shall see. A lot of possibilities, so I'm still not sure which route I should go. Um, overall, I need one Intellion Max, so I can grab one with Evolution Instance. And I also need one copy of my Frost Mode for extra energy acceleration. If I can be fast enough, I can mill my opponent. Uh, my opponent won't be able to mill me, and I can quickly uh, take advantage with, you know, knocking two of his Pokémons per turn. So let's go with a Evolution Instance first. There we go. In order to be able to retreat my um, active slum, I'm gonna need also one little piece of puzzle there. So with Zigzagoon, I'm gonna put damage counter on his abandoned Pokemon. And additionally, uh, it doesn't matter actually. I'm going with. Actually, I'm gonna go with second crop at instead. Rather gonna keep that Marty in case if I don't pull energy or something like that. So there is a Ice Dance. I can attach one energy to my Intellion. Additionally, I have option to go either way with the Dene or um, Research. I'm gonna go with the Dene. I need that Air Balloon so I can retreat. And more than that, I draw more than that. I draw more than that. So, um able to retreat and hit with my max bullet so I'm taking a double prize knockout. So double prize knockout turn two with Talion V Max turn two for 160 and 60 on the bench. That is just ridiculous. Intellion V Max completely destroys those tiny stage one or two decks. They simply cannot match with the lighting speed of Intellion V Max. Even worse, those heavily uh, loaded GX decks also gonna have a lot of trouble post rotation against Italian Vmax. So Italian Vmax is definitely a next. It's a 2.0 version of Dragapult Vmax. The truth is, Dragapult hits with two energies, but it's weak on the darkness, and in turn, this Vmax is you know a very powerful. Um, deck that can hit also for two energies, but for the one hit knockout. So um, another crushing hammer. This time it is a tails. Really doesn't matter. Um, I'm not gonna be able to end the game next turn potentially. I might be able, but I'm gonna need to scoop up nets, which is probably not gonna happen. Yeah, not gonna happen for sure. Um, quick ball to toss my Intellion Really doesn't matter. Oh, I should just ah, never mind. 160 and 60 on the bench. I can take Price Corp, which is a water energy, and another prize is a training court. And that seems to be it. That seems to be it. There is a quick ball for Marshadow. Training court is also a um, good uh, stadium court, it helps you to get that. Um, energy from your disco pile back into your hand and with the help of it you can simply 
pick the energy and get that energy attachment either way with your um, energy attachment from hand or with Ice Dance Frost Mode ability. So, Lana's Fishing Rod for Cursed Shawl and Tacricity. Yeah, if he managed to somehow evolve into Tacricity, still wouldn't be too much of a difference. That Risk Taker wouldn't damage me too much, anyways. And as long as I have Stadium, I don't need even to worry about that as well. Glimwood Tangle on the other side helps you to get the heads with the risk taker much more easier. Um, what are we gonna do next there? There's gonna be one. Should I even bother with energy attachment? I don't know, I can go with one energy attachment, why not? Uh, max bullet. And that's it. That's basically a GG. So I only have one price card left, even if my opponent Technically, if he stamps me down to one, and if he somehow managed to catch the active crow, but let's say, and if he start to successfully flip heads on the coin flips, or just basically, yeah, I removed his stadium from play. So if he managed to start, you know, disrupting my deck with risk taker, he might be able to win that game. It's still possible for him. It's definitely not impossible. So there is a bird keeper, which means that we are not going to see a... Can he maybe paralyze me? Yeah, he, he can with uh, Taijo, he can paralyze me. Oh no, he cannot because... Oh, he can, that's a twin energy. Alright, let's see if he will decide to do it or if he will just, you know, um, concede the game. Really hard again, as I said, um, for those stage one decks to um, battle against Intellion Max because Intellion is a lot more faster deck, you know. Um, it is much more faster and it is much more devastated to play against, uh, mainly because it can take advantage by, uh, you know, taking two price knockout per single turn, which is really, really strong, so that is a GG. Okay, so Starting the game number two with the first possible start that I can get the Dene GX. Two training cords as well as two communications and Intellion Wemax. So alright, at least at least it's not gonna be that bad, I guess. So gonna get first one snob to play. One training cord one uh, communication as well for something like yeah the only thing that I can do literally I can just use my crobit then let's go with a crobit we play oof that's really bad okay um, there is nothing that I can do so I'm just gonna pass the turn for now I could potentially decide to retreat into my uh, Lapras Wii. But that makes no sense, so I might just decide to go with the Body Surf. Uh, we shall see. Hmm. Okay, uh, Weak of Vault. Already one energy in a Discord pile. Um, that's a good thing for my opponent. I'm not sure which stadium card is he playing. But again, there is a quick ball which will help him to get that Tapu Koko in place. So we might see turn one item lock from Wicca Vault. And I still don't have Intellion in play. And even worse, all of my Pokemons have weakness on the lighting. So each of my Pokemons with weakness on lighting is going to be really rough for me to basically play against weakness and also win the game. But I'm gonna do my best. We'll definitely see what I can do. As long as my opponent stacks in the front for at least one turn with Jirachi, that's gonna be impressive play from me for me. But then again, he can hit with a super zap cannon for one night. There is a uh, bird Q 
Keeper for Switch plus extra tree draw, Paralyzing Bolt for 50, I cannot play item cards, but I can definitely tank in the active position with my Dedenne. Let's go with a Research and let's hope to find Intellion, there it is. Energy Attachment, Training Court. Um, okay, I'm pass I'm passing the turn. I'm passing the turn. Yeah, he can one night. He can hit for one. I can I can literally just Hydra snipe. But what I'm getting with that? Nothing. Is there a way to slow him maybe by just a little bit? I'm supposing that he's playing like two to three bird keepers, so maybe even Elder Gosui, and it really doesn't matter. Um, he can one-hit knock at me with the Super Zap Cannon, but I can potentially slow him a little bit with that Hydra Snipe. But I also saw that he is playing those Turbo Patch cards, so not sure how effective that's gonna be. One thing is obvious, next turn I will try to catch that Raichu in the active position and start chipping those energies from it with my Intellion Max. Well, that's a Roller Skate. Roller Skater that helps you to discard energy in order to draw uh, four cards, which helps you to get that top of token uh, with the prism in play much more faster. So energy on the right you goes and paralyzing bolt to my Dedenne. Everything goes under the plan, at least I hope it goes. So let's go with that retreat. Hope, there we go training court and all suddenly I can hydro snipe him and force him to get that energy card back to his hand okay again with the bird keeper he simply one hit knocks me out and if that happens it's yeah there's a switch even worse so you can switch to Jirachi Still a wish with it but the one problem is that if he super zap can me he needs to discard two cards, two energy cards from the Wicavolt and he also allows me to play item cards which means that my turn will be explosive. I will probably one hit knock at his Wicavolt back in that case but then he will just not be back with the Tandem Shock anyways. Um, I will have turn with the Captious Bucket as well as with the Evolution Incense and who knows I might even get lucky and um, get even more cards like you know let's say research or something like that we shall see still uh, first he needs to uh, switch jirachi and it looks like that he decided to go for the knockout with the weak old so that's gonna be the case research for seven wish there was with marty but it wasn't hopefully my top deck will be strong otherwise i'm not gonna be in a good position probably i'm just gonna lose the game after that um, that's another weak world. Mm, super set can. Okay. Well, um, okay. Um, I'm gonna have tons of energy cards, and I just need to get a switch option, which I didn't get. So that's rough. All right. So evolution incense, meaning that I can get myself a frost mode. With Bucket I can get some energies, and the problem is that even if I can attach so many energies onto my Lapras, still I cannot do too many with them. And Lapras technically is the only Pokemon capable to go for the knockout against my opponent Wicavolt, so I'm desperately trying to buy myself a turn there, and um, I don't know, let's put that Rikoria in the front and pass the turn, hopefully the top deck will be better. We all know that it's probably not gonna be, because we already discarded two researchers. Two communications at the beginning of the game, also Energy attached to the bench that we called so many cards in my opponent hand. One copy of Marnie as a top deck would be awesome. 
but what I'm getting with the Marnie, not too much because then Boss's orders simply works perfect for him. Another roller skates. Another roller skater for four extra cards, and it is my turn. So somehow I managed to survive, and look what did happen. Look what just happened. I somehow top deck a quick ball. So quick ball into Crobatwe, and we're definitely gonna. Should I put my. If I put my Italian in play, I lost the game. So I cannot afford myself to do that. So I'm just gonna try to somehow switch, which again, not gonna be the case. Seriously. Ice Dance. Alright, so. Hmm. Okay, what else I don't need? Probably not gonna need that stun as well. So research for seven. I cannot put Intelligent VMAX in play. If I do that, the game is over. Alright, Ice Dance. Let's get more energies on that Intellion so we can do some damage with it. So we can do some magic. Some magic tricks. Hitting Oricorio for 40. How smart that would be. Knocking him out with Lapras means that he knocks me back with Wickavolt. That can potentially result a good play or a bad play. It really depends what's gonna happen next. Um, that's for sure. I can still try to control him by the effect of my Intellion Max. if he just super zap cannons me. That's obvious play for me, and that's the only play for me. And there is a Turbo Patch. If you flip heads on the Turbo Patch, and he didn't, he decided to reach a stamp me down to 4. Okay, so he can refresh my hand a little bit. Scoop up net, works perfect, BD, okay, so down with BD he can take advantage, adding that energy to Raichu, okay, which basically means only one thing. I need Voss's orders, and Intellion Max, and all that in just one top deck, which is impossible, so... Well, speaking about impossible and not impossible, that's a quick ball top deck. But with that quick ball, I cannot get that boss's orders because my Dene is prized. Well, 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 that's the GG. Hmm. I cannot even knock the weak vault out, but still, he needs to find a way to switch that weak vault somehow. And it simply happened. Let's see, we can take a look at our opponent hand. Two researchers, two BAs, he have Boss's orders, he have Jirachi, two speed lighting energies, and the bird keeper for the win. We're gonna say well played to my opponent, and that will conclude this deck list and deck. And it will be the end of the video as well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Unfortunately, we couldn't play versus weakness due to the very slow start and due to that um, weak of old item lock and other than that I being prized. If I was able right now to pull that another copy of I was able to get another copy of my um, the Dene and Boss's orders into another Intellion Max for that Hydra Snipe. I could potentially control my opponent board with the energies, but sooner or later he would just come back with that um, Super Zap Cannon and one hit knock on my Intellion Max. So, really, really. Um, hard for me to uh, play versus weakness in this case. But anyways, that's the deck list that I use in today's video. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. 
Um, if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the deck list that actually toured the Reklev. Well known player. I guess I don't need to introduce him too much. Uh, played and he finished, I think, at, at top four, fourth place in the Players Cup that uh, that's been played like couple days ago and yeah I'm very consistent deck list but it can break sometimes and yeah that was the case in my uh, second video but still very good post rotation deck list just in case if you're looking for Intellion Max deck so thank you for your time thank you for watching this video we'll see you next time as always have a nice day and uh, goodbye